You know, every once in a while, I run across people that just don't have the capacity to grasp what I'm talking about. Because with this guy, I've told him, I've done videos specifically for him. To show him how the Act of 1871 was just another enablement act as the one started in 1802 in this country. Okay, the Act of 1871 was a very specific enablement act for Washington, D.C. Okay, the enablement acts that Hitler used in 1933, the same year, coincidentally, or not, that we had the bankruptcy, or alleged bankruptcy, of the United States Congress, who pointed themselves trustee over their own bankruptcy, by the way. But the 1933 Enablement Acts under Hitler were identical in nature to the Enablement Acts started in 1802, same year as the Indemnification Convention. And if you understand what that means, Okay, let me say it again. They indemnified the citizens to be pledges for the debt in order to offset congressional bankruptcy, which is, of course, human trafficking unlawful on its face. So this guy, Tattoo 1009, I've explained this to him and I've made videos about it. Links will again be in the pull down for review. See from enablements to genocide and try to wrap your mind around the point that abolishing this act would do no thing. Nothing. Now I've told you and I've told you again when you don't know you're just ignorant. When I tell you and you still don't know you're just either stupid or an agent, or what I call a shoe, which comes from the word sabbat, from which the word saboteur came from. So, if Tattoot doesn't get this, or attempt to wrap his mind around how the acts of enablement were articles of incorporation, aka articles of association, et alia, et al., all of that, then I am going to, by the evidence, have to conclude that Tattoot either has a very low IQ, which I don't really want to believe, even though he does sound like Randy, the brother of my name's Earl, or he is an agent. He's also been known to run with Dutch Sints, who likes that American flag and patriotism, talks about harp, but doesn't ever talk about the Dussel coils. No, no, don't talk about the Dussel coils. Or how you can find the funding for this stuff at grants.gov. Same with chemtrails. So now, I'm just showing you the evidence. What you want to do with that, that's on you. Links are in the pull down. Thanks for watching this video.